one's on about Bokashi, aren't they? Wonderful buckets, there's all different designs, I love them. I actually love the maze bucket with the clips. But what if you want to do it yourself, you don't want to spend any money or very little money, there's plenty of ways of doing it. For example, here's the one that I made earlier. So you just get some cardboard and shred it up and put it in the bottom of a bucket. Now most, well all commercial Bukashi kits have taps on the bottom and for good reason. You can collect the liquid, you can use it as a drain cleaner and as a liquid feed. But if you don't want the risk of leaks or you want to keep things really simple, there's no reason with fermentation that you need a tap. So you can use a solid bucket with no tap. You can put the cardboard in the bottom because this will soak up the liquid. So inside I've added a layer of Bokashi, a layer of waste and another sprinkling of Bokashi and I have tamped it down with my good old potato masher and I will fill this up and once I've got to the top the liquid will have drained through to the cardboard and I will empty it onto my raised bed or my conventional garden composter. I use a green Johanna and that cardboard of course will add carbon so it's the brown waste and the green waste will be the kitchen waste so it actually is like one hell of a booster to your garden composter and it will make your soil the very best soil taking out waste from your um, from the council's food system, reducing transportation, lowering carbon emissions and making your soil the very best. What's not to love?